Cuba is located in the Caribbean Sea and is surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean, Cayman Trench, Gulf of Mexico, and the Straits of Florida. Some authentic landmarks to visit while in Cuba could be the Cathedral of Havana, which is Cuba's most famous cathedral, finished in 1777, or El Floridita, which is the name of a bar who was made famous by the novels of Ernest Hemingway, who was an American author and journalist, or El Morro Castle, which is a fortress that guards the entrance to Havana Bay, being a very important attraction to the city. Lastly, the Moncada Army Barracks is the site of Fidel Castro's first attack on the dictator Fulgencio Batista, which is found in Santiago de Cuba. Furthermore, while enjoying your stay in Cuba, you can also do some fun activities like snorkeling, going to the beach, and even learning about Cuba's history by going to many museums. Traditional food is one of the biggest cultural aspects of Cuba. It's a syncretism between Spanish, African, and Caribbean cuisines. Some popular dishes you can try while staying in Cuba could be boliche, picadillo with fried sweet plantains, ropa vieja, vaca frita, and the most popular sandwich, the Cuban. Majority of Cuban music has origins from Europe and Africa. While in Cuba, you can get a taste of music like the Afro-Cuban, the Habanera, the Bolero, Jazz, Mambo, Rumba, and Salsa. You can listen to music by notable Cubans like Celia Cruz, Rita Marley, Ibrahim Ferrer, and La Lupe. The one sport that influences Cuban culture majorly is baseball. Baseball was introduced to Cuba by American sailors on trading vessels. Baseball is so influential to Cubans that at one point they thought of baseball as a metaphor for life. Today's Cuban national team is made of the most talented players in which most of them have moved up ranks since childhood. Some popular players are Jose Abreu, Freddy Alvarez, Raizel Iglesias, and Andy Ibanez. Lastly, one more thing that impacts Cuban culture are cigars. Cuban cigars are world famous and they are known as the best in the market. Tobacco has been grown for hundreds of years in Cuba and is also very valuable to many. They stand out because they are made from high quality material and lots of care and attention gets put into every single one of them. That's also another reason why they're harder to get than normal cigars. So next time you come to Cuba, make sure to check them out. Back in